Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Shaughnessy and on this channel we discuss fragrance, beauty, and wellness. And if you simply like to have a good time and you like my vibe, subscribe. So y'all, I think this is fall round three at <laughs> Bath and Body Works. I want to say two. But I feel like the Halloween collection is part of fall. So I think we're on fall round three. I meant to look up the name of the collection, but it will be somewhere in the title and the thumbnail somewhere. But because I never know the names of Bath and Body Works collections, truly. So <laughs> before we get started on that, let me tell you what's on my lips. I am wearing the Guerlain Lip Oil in 309 Honey Glow. And if I can find it, of course, it will be linked below. So this is what I have on my lips today. Now, uh, before we get started with me sharing my thoughts on these fragrances, I wanted to tell you, you may hear some noise in the background. Um, my brother's not feeling well. And where I film, it's close to his bedroom. And I'm not going to ask him you know, turn down, do this because, you know, he's sick. So if you hear a little background noise, I'm sorry, you know, I'm not, um, it is what it is. So y'all, I went back and forth about doing this video because, you know, they've had the 595 sale. And if you were, you know, blessed where you live, the 495 sale, they've been out for a minute. I got behind. But I decided to go ahead and review this round of fragrances because that's what I do. I mean, and I didn't want to skip a round of reviewing from Bath & Body Works. So I'm going to start with a couple I don't have here with me. The first one is... It's a pumpkin. Oh my goodness. <sighs> Y'all, I can't remember the name of it. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. I don't know why I can't well I can I know why I can't remember because I don't I don't have my notes with me. And another thing is another reason is because I don't like that one. Sweet pumpkin. Okay, it's the pumpkin one. That's not marshmallow pumpkin latte. That's what we're gonna say because that's the best I can do, y'all, right now. Um, so I don't have the notes for these either, but that one is very pumpkin. It's not sweet enough for me. For me to like a pumpkin fragrance, it has to be super, super, super sweet have something else going with it to not have the pumpkin be the forefront and that one uh that is driving me crazy that i can't remember the name of it and since i'll just put it in like i'll do a thumbnail thumb a comment or pin a comment and be like yeah that's what sweet cinnamon pumpkin i think that's the name of it i just it's just too much for me the other fragrance mints that I do not have in my collection, my brother has it, but like I said, I didn't want to bother him, um, is Sunrise Woods. And so that, to me, has always been a lighter version of Twilight Woods. It's a little woody. It's a little sweet. It's a little thick. Uh, if I want, I think it has um, some fruity notes in it. So that is one that's nice, but I've never, I think I purchased it, gave it to him, he really likes it and he's repurchased it again. But for me, I never fell in love with Sunrise Woods, probably because I wore Twilight Woods so much. Like, I don't want that back in my collection. I don't miss it. And it, it just reminds me of Twilight Woods and I'm good. So those are the two I do not have in my collection. So Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte. This is not the current packaging because I have this one, so I'm not gonna repurchase it till it's gone. This has notes of pumpkin latte, toasted marshmallows, creamy sandalwood, and praline musk. This is a fragrance they've bought, brought back every year. Every year. So, 
I mean, you know about it probably unless like some of you told me, oh, I just got back into Bath and Body Works. So I just started going after watching some of your videos. This is one that I actually prefer like the lotion or the body cream up to the mist because I received this as a gift one day for Boss Appreciation Day and the lotion. And I love the lotion. And when I started this channel, I said, oh, I'm just going to get, I'm going to purchase the mist and see what I think. It's very, I feel like this version, I do get more of the pumpkin. It smells like a pumpkin coffee drink with a bunch of marshmallow foam on top of it. The woodiness does come out, the praline musk, I, it's not a love for me in the mist. It's not. But this is another fragrance, somewhat to me like Vanilla Bean Noel from Bath & Body Works. Different versions can smell better. So this is one I remember smelling, If was it the version? I smelled a better version of this, but I was like, I'm not buying it because I have this one. So this is Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte. I would suggest like I do at Vanilla Bean Noel, go and smell the version for the current year because they release it every year and see if, you know, which one you like. So um, I fell in love with this packaging and then I decided, oh, I'm going to get it because I have this channel and I'm going to get the mist. So I don't love it. I don't hate it. It's just okay. Like sometimes I smell it, I go, ooh, it smells really good. And then sometimes I smell it and I go, ooh, it's a, it's an aftertone, an after smell I'm not loving. So I always, I would suggest go smell the current version. I have no interest in, in doing so because I haven't used this one yet. But if you love Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte, if you never smell Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte, it is one I would suggest, if you can, to smell in store because it, it can change just a little bit each time they bring it out. So those are my thoughts on Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte. The next fragrance we're going to talk about is Champagne Apple and Honey. This has notes of crisp apple, sparkling champagne, jasmine honey, and autumn woods. Again, this is not the packaging for this year, which this year's packaging looks so like a little upscale, sophisticated, while this is fun and cutesy. So... Champagne, Apple, and Honey is another one I always passed on and then I decided I'm going to purchase it because I do, you know, I have this channel and I do reviews. So this is one that it smells like all the notes to me. I get the apple. I get the champagne. I even get the honey. The autumn woods, mm, maybe not so much. To me, this smells like an, a sparkling apple fragrance. Yeah, I, the apple is very prominent. That champagne note is very prominent. I do. It makes me think of like a bubbly apple champagne. That's exactly what it makes me think of. I do like it. I don't love it. I haven't worn it enough out to see if I love it. But it is on my list to wear this fall because I want to know, I do like it, but I don't know as of yet if I would say, oh, I'm gonna repurchase it. As of right now, this comes out every year, so I'm not really pressed about, oh my goodness, what if I can't get it again? But I do wanna see, is this gonna become a real true love of mine, or just, you know, I like it if I get in the mood and I repurchase again, I don't know. So we have to wait and see, but though it is a good one. It does smell good. If you like apple fragrances, I think you would like champagne, apple, and honey. So yeah, those are my thoughts on champagne, apple, and honey. Next, we're going to talk about another one that has been around. They took it away. They brought it back. I didn't, I don't have the mist yet um, because I purchased the body oil and that is Into the Night. Into the Night has a nose of Raspberry Noir, Amber Crystal, Amber Crystals, Velvety Rose Petals, Creamy Patchouli, and Mocha Musk. Now, I don't plan to repurchase Into the Night. I used up a set of it last year or the year before last. And I don't miss it from the mist. Okay? But it's a nice one. It's a perfumey patchouli. It's like a fruitchouli scent. You get the raspberry. You get the patchouli. You get the mocha. 
in here. It, does, it smells sophisticated. It smells perfumey. You wouldn't automatically, if let's say if you're a person who doesn't know anything about Bath and Body Works and somebody was wearing this, I believe you'd be like, they say, if they would say, well, if you said, oh, you smell so good. What are you wearing? Oh, girl, I'm wearing Into the Night from Bath and Body Works. They would go, what? That's from Bath and Body Works? That would be the, the response because this does smell like a perfume. Now, it even though I liked it and enjoyed it, you all know. I've, I've said it many times if you've been watching me. I do not do well with heavy fragrance mist, perfumey fragrance mist. Fragrance mist that can stand alone because I, 99.9% of the time, I want my fragrance mist to layer because I'm wearing a perfume. It is super duper duper rare where I'm just wearing a fragrance mist as my only scent of the day. So for me, another reason why I'm not interested in purchasing, repurchasing into the night, you know, and even though they brought the perfume back, I like and prefer Victoria's Secret Tease Noir. To me, it smells similar. It's in that same fragrance DNA, but it's just a little bit, I don't know, I just like it a little bit better than Into the Night. So I don't see the purpose of having both in my collection. So that's another reason why I will not be repurchasing Into the Night this go around. I'm sure they'll bring it back again, but for this go around, I just wanted the Shimmer Body Oil and I'm content with that. But if you want a perfumey fragrance mist that is kind of seductive, like a fruit chewy that you can wear on its own, it's a compliment getter. Um, the packaging is lovely, then I do suggest uh, Into the Night for you. Okay, the next fragrance we're going to talk about is Autumn Drive. This has notes of wild raspberry, warm birch, and vanilla birch. Y'all, I say, this has notes of wild raspberry, warm amber, and vanilla birch. I don't know if I said, it feels like I added birch into something. I was like, I don't see that on here twice. Now, y'all, I have this in another packaging, but I don't know where it is. And I knew I wanted one more of these because I remember loving it. So it's been a, over a year since I've smelled this. So let me see if I still love it. Yes. So this is raspberry. It's like a bright, juicy, sweet, of course, fruity raspberry. Who with like a like that amber and that that birch that vanilla woodiness comes out is good. Mmm, mmm. And the more I smell, it's like smooth raspberry. Oh, it's good. Who? I like raspberry. I, I've noticed that with me. This is good, y'all. So I need to check my collection and see if I have like the lotion and what what else I have in this because it is good enough that I would want the lotion in this, I believe. It is so, so, so good. Highly recommend Autumn Drive. Oh, it smells so good. Okay, the next fragrance we're gonna talk about is Cozy Vanilla Bourbon. This isn't the current packaging. This has notes of warm bourbon, dark fruit, and vanilla liqueur. Now, I would have purchased a backup of this um, during the $5.95 sale, Body Care Day sale, if they had not made this an online exclusive. I just did not, I wasn't spending $50, I didn't spend $50 on this sale because I really didn't, you know, I didn't need much. And so I didn't want to pay $50 to get free shipping. And of course I did not want to pay for shipping. So that's the only reason why I don't have a backup of this. This is warm, fruity, a tad bit boozy. It's good. It's a good one. And it's one that it, it, I like it better on my skin. Like smelling it from the top, it's nice, but this is also a fragrance mist that as it dries down on your, mixes with your body chemistry, it just gets better. Dep you know, depending on what notes come out. But it is, 
It's a fruity, boozy, vanilla, sweet liqueur scent. <sighs> yeah. And the packaging for this fragrance, Smith's Cozy Vanilla Bourbon, and the next one I'm going to talk about that they made an online exclusive, superb. It looks so good that I was thinking maybe during semi-annual sale, I might, still I'm not, it's no guarantee, place an online order. It just depends on my mood, honey, because I'm like, I'm fine if I don't get another one. I'm fine. <laughs> so it just is going to depend on my mood, but I recommend that if you are placing an order for Bath & Body Works, honey, get this online exclusive because it's a good one. Cozy Vanilla Bourbon. Would I say place an online order just exclusively to get this? Heck no. Because you, most of the time you got to pay shipping or you got to spend $50. So I will never say, you know, I suggest you go on there and you, you know, find something for $50 just to smell this. You'll be fine if you don't. But if you, if you already placed an order... And you, you know, you're going to hit, you know, if you already placed it in order, I say get it and try it out if you've never smelled it. Because I, if you like boo, the boozy fragrances from Bath and Body Works, if you liked that fragrance Fireside Flurries from Bath and Body Works, you, I think you'll like this. I really do. So those are my thoughts on Cozy Vanilla Bourbon. Okay, the next fragrance mist that Bath & Body Works for some reason decided to make an online exclusive is Sweet Whiskey. This has notes of golden amber, vanilla infused whiskey, and sweet red berries. I finished up a set of my favorite version of this, which it was just one note difference that most people say they couldn't tell the difference, but to my nose, I could. This is a warm, boozy, seductive, to me, unisex scent. I mean, the cozy vanilla bourbon and sweet whiskey kind of fall in that same boozy, warm, fruity type vanilla type of uh, fragrance DNA. Maybe that's why those two were made online exclusives. Sweet whiskey is one. I wish I had the my old sweet whiskey. Um, I prefer that one. It was a little brighter to me um, than this one. I do like this version, but I don't feel like, okay, let me tell you this. I'm not planning to place an online order just to get Sweet Whiskey because I've gone through one whole collection and I'm, you know, planning to try to put a good dent, if not use this one up this fall, winter. So I feel like after two, I, I'm going to need a break with Sweet Whiskey because it's a deeper type of fragrance. And like I told y'all, deeper fragrance mists are harder for me to just get through. So even though this is a good one, I always recommend it for fall. It is, it's wonderful. Like I said, perfectly unisex. It's a good one. I just don't feel like for me, because I'm on round two of Sweet Whiskey, that I will be pressed to place an order. Get it, get it, get it. If I saw it at semi-annual sale in store, if I finish this one up, I might. Especially, I need to check the notes and see if it's the same version of this one or the one. It's just one note difference. That's what I'm going to check. If it's the one, the Sweet Whiskey that I love in that you know bright like orange coral packaging i would be more tempted this version i wouldn't be tempted at all at this time because i have to give myself time to miss it so those are my thoughts on sweet whiskey so the last fragrance mist we're going to talk about today again this is not the packaging from this year this is together weather this has notes of blushing breeze sugared cardamom and soft cedar This is a fragrance mist that reminds me of Charosa 40 from Sol de Janeiro. It's a deep, plummy, spicy, vanilla type of scent. And the only reason why I'm not repurchasing since they brought it back uh, some more of this is because I would pr I prefer Sol de Janeiro's version. Um, 
it's very similar i feel like together weather is a little spicier um whereas the sol de janeiro is more dark fruity vanilla and i prefer that than together weather but that's the reason why i haven't repurchased sol de janeiro um Chirosa 40 is because I have this so because I know I'm not going to use this if I have Chirosa 40 which I finished up I can't remember if it was this year or last year y'all but I finished it up it's not in my collection and, and it's not going to be in my collection until I finish together weather because they are very similar they're so similar that I don't feel like you need both in your collection and I, I mean I didn't need both in mine so those are my thoughts on together weather now if I'm going to rank these which there weren't did they release any new ones uh, for this round of, they did not. All of these were repackages, y'all. Every single one of them. So that uh, Sweet Pumpkin, whatever that one is, I thought I remembered the name. I don't know if I got the name right. That would be, wait a minute, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it was nine in this collection. I hope I'm not forgetting another one, y'all, because it seems like they would bring back, they'd have 10. But number nine would be that Sweet Pumpkin, whatever the name is, I'm going to have in a pinned comment because I'm obviously just cannot think. Again, I have a headache again. I've been having a headache for four days straight now. Nothing has been working, and I'm getting worried a little bit because I've never had a headache to where... It's just been bad. I mean, it got so bad the other day that I almost cried. And I've never cried from a headache. So, um, forgive me for my brain not functioning. So, um, I think it's sweet cinnamon, sweet pumpkin, cin whatever. It will be pinned. So, that would be number nine. Number eight would be Sunrise Woods because I don't have it in my collection. I purchased it, gave it away because I didn't fall in love with it. So it would be number eight. Number seven would be um, Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte because sometimes I really like it when I smell it. And then sometimes I'm like, I just don't know about you, boo. So it's going to be number seven. Coming in at number six is going to be Into the Night because, again, I've used it up. I have no desire to, even with the perfume coming out, made me think of Chloe as me because she loves the Into the, well, you know, she prayed it now. I don't know if she loves it because <laughs> so that changes, I've heard. Um, your pregnancy can change what fragrances you like, but made me think of her. Even the perfume didn't tempt me. So it's number seven because I'm just not, I'm not enthralled with Into the Night. Number six is going to be, um, I, okay, number six is going to be Champagne, Apple, and Honey because I don't know yet. I haven't worn it out. I have tested it, I've smelled it, I've smelled it on my skin, but I have not worn it out. So I'm not for sure how it's gonna fall when I do that. So that's why I didn't, I didn't want it in my top five because I have not worn it out. So that's why it's number six, champagne, apple, and honey. Coming in at number five is going to be, uh, hold on y'all. Okay, coming in at number five, why do I feel like I have messed up the counting? Y'all, I have messed up this counting, and I'm not about to refilm and redo. So, um, champagne, apple, and honey, because I can't count was in the top five. So, just disregard what I said. My reasoning stands, but my math is off. <laughs> what? So, coming in at number four is going to be Together Weather, because I know I once I finish this, even though I like the way it smells, I prefer Sol de Janeiro Chirosa 40. So that's why it's going to be number four. Even though it smells good, I don't, I don't feel like, you know, I'm going to repurchase this again after I use it. So number four, coming in at number three is going to be Sweet Whiskey because it's just a fall staple. It's been, fall winter staple. It's so, it's good. But like I've said, like I told y'all, we'll see if I get, you know, more, if I decide to place an order. But for now, 
this is, you know, this might be my last round for a minute of Sweet Whiskey, but it still had to make it to the top three because it is good. It's based, it's almost a classic to me by now. Coming in at number two is going to be Cozy Vanilla Bourbon because it just smells divine. Uh, but it, it needs my skin for me to just love, love, love it. I know how it gets on the dry down and it's wonderful and it's, it's number two. Part of the reason is because it's an online exclusive. I, that just miffs me. Um, when they do that, especially with a fragrance that I know a lot of people requested that they bring back. So it's a little inconvenient. So that's why it's number two. And number one is going to be Autumn Drive because y'all saw my reaction. It's so good. It's so perfumey, womanly, girly, pretty, flirty, even a little seductive. I love Autumn Drive. Highly suggest go testing it out in the store. Oh my goodness, Autumn Drive number one, so good. So y'all, those are my thoughts on fall round two or three. I feel like it's three, but who knows? I, I feel like, what time, it's September. Okay, Bad the Body Words might be coming out with another fall collection because I feel like in October, that's when we'll start seeing like Christmas collections. So I don't know. We may have one more one more fall collection or mini collection. We're going to have to see. But this was a collection of repackages, honey. I didn't realize that until... Well, I probably realized it when I was preparing for this video, thinking about this video. But, you know, you know, life happens. But So I forgot until I was talking to you all. All of them repackaged. Not one new one. Unless I forgot something. Not one new one. So... This is a great collection. If you missed out on something or you never smelled something and you wondered about it, hopefully they were in this collection and you were able to test them out. If you all enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please give me a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below and tell me your thoughts on all these fragrances they brought back. Were you excited that it was a collection of repackages or were you like, where's the new new? I would love to hear y'all's thoughts. Please share this video with everyone, y'all, because we still trying to keep big growing in 2024. And please don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you don't ever miss any of my videos. And as I always say, if you like my vibe, subscribe. Until next time, bye.